very good evening to you. Thank you for rejoining us uh, as we continue with our um, weekly media briefing. We've just um, had a pleasure of the briefing on the recently concluded I2U2 summit. Now on to other issues of the week. I don't have any particular announcement to make, so maybe I should open the floor for questions and comments. Okay, I, okay, one by one. Okay, I saw your hand first today. Go ahead. So, uh, Gandhi from Bloomberg. I wanted to draw your attention to the you know events in Sri Lanka, and uh, on that, two quick questions: Does India have an idea as to where President Gotabaya ultimately wants to head for, and how concerned is India given the political instability in Sri Lanka? Uh, I saw some other hands here. Siddhant, okay. Hi, sir. Siddhant from Beyond. My question is on Sri Lanka. There have been reports of India facilitating Godavaya's exit from the country. If you can uh, talk about it or perhaps give a reaction on it. Okay. Kalul. Kalul from the Hindu. Uh, the Rajapaksa brothers were accused of human rights violation during the war against the LTTE. Uh, would India support an international move to bring them to justice? Uh, Madhurin? Sir Madhurin, News Nation. Sir, my question is Lanka. Basically, I want to know that the refugee influx is showing in our borders. What is the preparation for the Bharat? And now, the refugees who are moving from there, is there any data that they have been moved back? There was someone that I needed. I'll come back to you. सर न्यूज़ एटीन इंडिया से नीरज हूँ मेरा सवाल है कि श्रीलंका के संकट को लेकर भारत कितना चिंतित है अब तक जो मदद की गई है और आगे क्या करने की तैयारी है मेबी या प्लीज शाहिद थैंक यू फ्रॉम सरबानर टुडे वी हैव सीन दैट व्हेन प्रेसिडेंट रिश्त मार दी देर वाज सम पोटेंशियल देर एस वेल दैट � you mean the Sri Lankan president? Sri Lankan, they were protesting. So how it was being seen there? Is it a good place to you know to land there and again to see the Indian side also? That how the India is taking that reaction? Look, I've taken a lot of questions, Sri Lanka. Is there any other question, Sri Lanka? Let's do it in one go. I mean, so instead, yeah. Or are there too many on Sri Lanka left? Then okay, why why don't you? Okay, let's go ahead. Sir, Sri Lanka is our immediate maritime neighbor. There are security situations also in Sri Lanka. So how sensitive we are about uh, any untoward incident in Sri Lanka as far as, you know, violence is concerned. And also, is India in touch with various political stakeholders in the country? Okay. Any other person on the Sri Lanka situation? Am I missing out anybody? Okay, good. Um, Look, there are multiple set of questions. Um, some of them, I think you would have seen some responses already from our high commissions, in fact, in Sri Lanka and Maldives. But let me just try to give you a sense of um, where we are. Uh, so and I'll try to answer some of that as part of this question. Look, let me make a larger point. I think ensuring peace, um, stability, and prosperity of all countries in the region, in our region, is an important aspect of neighborhood first policy, as well as our vision for uh, security and growth for all, that is Sagar. Um, this is, in the case of Sri Lanka, clearly evident in the close and multifaceted relationship that we have with that country and the commitment we have demonstrated in helping the Sri Lankan people um, you know, so address um, the challenges that are arising out of the current uh, situation in that country. Uh, we will, of course, continue to stand with the people of Sri Lanka as they seek to realize their aspirations for prosperity and progress through democratic means and values as well as established institutions and a constitutional framework. Uh, there were some questions about what assistance, etc. Look, let me just go over. You've already heard this about what uh, we've been assisting them. We responded with urgency to assist the people of Sri Lanka in overcoming the economic hardships. Um, this year itself, as I mentioned, I think the previous year, uh, week, India has expeditiously finalized and delivered assistance as well as support worth about US dollar 3.8 billion. This is in the form of currency swaps, deferment of repayment of Sri Lanka's liabilities to the uh, Reserve, uh, Reserve Bank of India under the Asian Clearing Union mechanism, 
apart from, of course, credit assistance of about $1.5 billion for financing of imports of fuel, food, medicines, fertilizers, and other essential commodities from India. Uh, while the line of credit for fuel, I think, has been now fully utilized, the credit facility of $1 billion continues to be under implementation. And India, of course, remains engaged with Sri Lanka in this uh, regard. There were some specific questions regarding the situation and how does it concern us. Of course, Sri Lanka is uh, a neighbor and um, in our neighborhood uh, developments that might affect us, we of course uh, remain very cognizant of uh, what are the challenges that may emanate from that. We are monitoring the evaluate, evolving situation in that country. Um, let me emphasize our ties with Sri Lanka are historic and comprehensive and we continue to remain engaged with all relevant stakeholders in Sri Lanka. Uh, we look forward to an early solution of the situation uh, related to the government and its leadership through democratic means and values, as I said, established institutions and constitutional framework. Uh, as regards some of the other queries that uh, was posed, uh, one regarding um, President uh, Godabaya Rajapaksa. Uh, look, I think you would have seen the comments that our High Commission said um, we have categorically um, you know, denied having any role on facilitating his departure or his travel uh, from Sri Lanka. Um, so I am not in a position to even guess where, what would be, um, you know, where is he? I've seen some media reports right now as we came in that I think he's right now in Sri Lanka, in Singapore, but that's a media report. Um, so these are all uh, general uh, comments on that. Um, uh, there was some comment about, there were some protests in Maldives, I think you had mentioned. Look, again, I have nothing to say on that. Uh, we are not involved in that process. Uh, not aware of exactly what his plans were and what he has done. Um, I, there were some issues, as I said, about concerns about instability. I think I answered that uh, sensitive. We are in touch with all relevant stakeholders. Akhilesh, you were asking about that. Um, Neeraj ji, you were asking that in Sri Lanka, what kind of help do you have to do with Sri Lanka? Yes, we are with them. Sri Lanka are with them. And we have helped them to help them with their assistance. और अभी देखते हैं कैसे होता है किस तरह से स्थिति वर्ती है और किस तरह की असिस्टेंस और चाहते हैं और सरकार उनकी तरफ से क्या होती है पर हमारा जो सपोर्ट है और हम जो श्रीलंका के लोगों के साथ हमारी जो सॉलिडेरिटी है ये रहेगा मधुरेन जी आपने कुछ रेफ्यूजी इन्फ्लक्स के बारे में पूछा था देखिए आपने सुना होगा कुछ दिनों पहले हमारे विदेश मंत्री ने कहा था इस विषय पर कि ऐसा कोई इमीजिएट सिचुएशन ऐसा नहीं है मेरे पास और कोई इमीजिएट अपडेट नहीं है और आपने कहा था कुछ लोग जो आ गए थे वापस चले गए अगेन उसमें भी मुझे कोई अपडेट नहीं है कुछ बड़ी कम संख्या में लोग कुछ दिनों पहले आए थे अभी रिसेंटली मैंने हाल ही में सुना नहीं है कुछ तो अभी इमीडिएटली वो कोई ऐसा सिचुएशन स्थिति ऐसी नहीं बनी है आई थिंक कलोल हैड अ क्वेश्चन अबाउट यू मेड यो डिक्लेरेटरी स्टेटमेंट्स विच आई एम नॉट दिस अ डिक्लेरेटरी स्टेटमेंट दैट इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ आवर पोजिशन सो लेट मी क्लैरिफाई दैट एट द बिगिनिंग Um, it's a very hypothetical situation. He is the current president of that country. I am not sure yet if the resignation, or which is being talked about, is there. So, um, look, I, it is. This is an issue um, that is really uh, for the Sri Lankan people. And as I wanted to emphasize that, um, as external affairs minister also said a few days ago, um, Sri Lankans need to find a way forward. They need to find a solution ahead. We are there to support the people of Sri Lanka in any which way we can, and we have demonstrated that with the economic assistance as well as other support that we have announced. Um, I think uh, that uh, covers broadly um, the different set of queries. Happy to take any further questions if there is. Okay. Ah. Arindam, this is on uh, China, India. Uh, even uh, ahead of the core commander, next core commander level talks, last week there were reports of a Chinese aircraft flying very close to the LEC. Has that been perceived as an airspace violation? Has that matter been taken up diplomatically with China? Uh, any other question? Yes, please. Uh, sir, uh, Rishikesh from Sputnik News. Uh, Australian Defense Minister uh, has asked uh, US, uh, India, or Japan to enhance mil uh, military presence in uh, Indo-Pacific region to prevent South China Sea-like situation. So would you like to come... Could you repeat that part? I didn't get it. Australian Defense Minister, Minister has requested... Uh, US, India and 
some other partner to Ooh. enhance military presence in uh, Indo-Pacific region to prevent uh, situations like uh, uh, South China Sea in other uh, areas like Indian Ocean or uh, South Pacific. Okay. What would you like me to do? Like to oh, I see. What, okay, what sorry, sorry. I thought it was uh, okay. <laughs> Apologies. Okay. Uh, who else? Okay. <laughs> Shalind, go ahead. Uh, Shalindra News again, sir. Uh, sir, आपने reports देखी होंगी कि पाकिस्तानी journalist Nusrat Mirza ने claim किया है कि वो India आए थे. पांच बार उन्होंने यहाँ से information इकट्ठा करके DG ISI को hand over किया. क्या हमारे पास कोई जो उनके claims हैं उस पे आप कुछ comment करना चाहेंगे? क्या ये fact है? हालांकि कुछ तस्वीरें भी सामने आई हैं कि जहाँ पे वो किस बारे में पांच बार आए थे डीजी आई सर को बताया अच्छा ओके जनरल ओके ठीक है और कोई एनी अदर क्वेरीज यस कम प्लीज एक रिपोर्ट आई थी कि यूएस कंसलेट जनरल सॉरी जस्ट इंट्रोड्यूस ऑफ फॉर द रिकॉर्ड बिकॉज़ यू इल नेवर कम आउट ऑफ़ � एक रिपोर्ट आई थी कि यूएस काउंसलर जनरल ने मुंबई में कहा था कि रशियन शिप्स भारतीय पोर्ट्स पे डॉक ना करें इस पर कोई रिएक्शन है एक मिनट माइक्रोफोन तक रुक जाइए नीरज या कम फॉलो अप है ना आपको क्वेश्चन ओके सप्लीमेंट्री एस एल एन जी के सवाल से कि उपराष्ट्रपति पूर्व उपराष्ट्रपति की तरफ से भी स्टेटमेंट आया जिसमें नुसरत मिर्जा के दावे को खारिज किया कि वो मिले थे या आमंत्रण दिया गया था नुसरत मिर्जा को तत्कालीन उपराष्ट्रपति की तरफ से नहीं बट हाँ तो फिर उस आप मुझसे क्या चाहते हैं हाँ उस जानकारी पर भी प्रकाश डाली अच्छा नहीं मैं आप कोई टिप्पणी चाहते तो उतना तक जा सकता हूँ पर प्रकाश कैसे डाल सकते हैं ये थोड़ा मुश्किल है सो एनी वे एनी एनीथिंग एल्स एनीवन एल्स ओके गुड लुक ऑन द you mean something which happened, Maha? That is your question. No? Some time ago, there was some... Uh, well, about a week ago, there were reports. Okay. Look, um, it's very difficult on these kind of issues to be specific about it. Let me... Um, okay, let me go back to what we were saying. I think we have made quite clear. Okay, and I, most recently, I think by external affairs minister, uh, I think he spoke a few days ago, that India will not countenance any unilateral attempt to change the status quo at the LSE. Let me also add here that it is also essential that appropriate agreements between India and China of 1993 and 1996 are scrupulously um, followed. So, uh, but as regards the specific query, look, you know, I think I'll refer you to the Ministry of Defense because that's about, so, but this is what we would say from a uh, diplomatic perspective. Um, Rishikesh, I frankly didn't get your query too well, uh, even after you repeated it. I am not fully aware of that statement. I've seen some media reports, so let me not comment on something that is, uh, you know, I'm not fully aware. Um, I don't think we have been asked, at least I'm not aware, you mentioned India, that we should deploy forces in the Indo-Pacific, or are we talking about deploying forces in other parts of the world? I don't think, I don't, have, I don't have really have a response to that. We. Uh, you know, we have advocated, you know, our position on the South China Sea quite clearly. We're talking about a free and open in the Pacific. Uh, we have been talking about rules-based order. But I don't know if you extend that to other places and what, what was meant and what we should be doing. So I don't really, sorry, don't have a uh, specific detailed comment on that uh, without knowing uh, what, you know, expected from us. Um, I think Shailendra or Neeraj, you have ये नुसरत मिर्जा वाले स्टेटमेंट के बारे में कुछ कहा उसके बारे में और उपराष्ट्रपति भूतपूर्व उपराष्ट्रपति के उसका जो बयान उनका आया है उसके बारे में देखिए मैंने कुछ मीडिया रिपोर्ट्स देखे हैं पर इसमें मैं कोई टिप्पणी नहीं कर पाऊंगा ऐसे मीडिया रिपोर्ट जो जिसके बारे में मुझे डिटेल नहीं है और अनकोराबोरेटेड भी है मुझे एग्जैक्टली तो इसमें दोनों पॉइंट्स में मैं कुछ कम या टिप्पणी नहीं करना चाहूँगा Regarding the issue, I think, uh, Kandamani, you asked about uh, on the U.S. Uh, consulate, right? I think that was the query um, you had put. This was that, again, a media report, uh, which was on that. Again, you always ask me about media reports. very difficult to respond to that. Okay, let me, let me say, yes, the matter has come to our attention. Uh, the relevant embassy has been advised that the appropriate channel for any such diplomatic communication is through the Ministry of External Affairs and the Embassy in New Delhi. On the larger issue of economic and trade linkages with Russia, 
I think our position has been articulated, I think, quite clearly on a number of occasions in the past, and I have no specific update really to share for the moment on, on that. So I'll leave it at that. Okay, thank you very much. I think, oh, you have more questions? Apologies, I missed that. Okay. Yeah, question here. Yeah. I thought we had done with the round. Okay. Uh, sir, this is just one question uh, back to Sri Lanka. You need to identify yourself for the record. Uh, I'm Abhishek, I'm from mm -hmm. CNN IB. Mm -hmm. uh, so there has been advisory from certain embassies uh, regarding the citizens and their safety in Sri Lanka. Swiss embassy has uh, issued advisory yesterday uh, and other embassies also. Uh, have we also advised our citizen uh, who is living in Sri Lanka about this uh, turmoil that we are facing there and about their safety and how should they operate? Um, Look, I am not really aware of a specific advisory that has, I'm sorry, now the question I presume we'll close with this one. I'm not really uh, aware of any specific advisory that our High Commission has issued. Um, uh, we are not aware of an untoward incident involving Indian nationals in Sri Lanka has been reported in the context of the current developments. Uh, as far as we are aware, all Indians in Sri Lanka are traveling to Sri Lanka. I mean, we would urge them to keep up themselves abreast of the latest developments and plan their movements and other activities accordingly. Our High Commission there is in close touch with the Indian community organizations and members. Of course, the High Commission officials are also available all the time for possible assistance that may be required by our citizens in Sri Lanka. And the contact details, including emergency contact numbers, are available on the website of the um, High Commission as well as, I think, on social media. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining.